Now, in this area here, I'm sure if you were to look in your maps, your gazetteers, I'm sure you would find reference to uh, Gallows Hill or Gibbet Hill or such like. Are there places like that nearby? I'm sure there are, for they are all around the country. They are all associated with the process of execution and gallows and gibbets were erected all around the country. Now, young sir, is it a, a sir or a miss? Yes. It's hard to tell in these days, for you disport yourselves in your small clothes and it is very difficult for me to tell. Should you be properly attired, and I'd be, as my mistress over yonder, then I'd be able to tell. <laughs> so, young miss, when you wander down your high street and you see a ladder against a shop window, do you walk under the ladder or do you walk around the ladder? Yeah. Why do you walk around the ladder? Why is it unlucky to go under a ladder? Now, in your time, you probably think it's unlucky to go under the ladder because of somebody dropping some paint on your head or some window cleaner wetting you with his sponge. That is not the case. If you see here, there is the ladder. And the ladder was an integral part of the execution process. And what would happen is the condemned person would be made to ascend the ladder. He would be encouraged to go up the ladder and when at the appropriate height, the ladder would be turned and you'd be turned off into eternity. And you'd swing out on the end of the rope. Now, there's no sudden drop here. Um, if you think about somebody going through a trap door and breaking their neck, that is a Victorian event. In my time, the Victorians have a